I'm gonna teach you guys how to set the boundaries that you need to really start your life. I am a firm believer that in order to identify healthy boundaries, you also need to be able to identify unhealthy relationships and toxic traits in others. I have gone through the ringer in my life and learning to set boundaries and keep certain people at arm's length has helped me to thrive and honestly build a healthier relationship with myself. Let's talk about it. Let's get into it. First, let's talk about boundaries. Boundaries are essential when it comes to maintaining a healthy relationship with yourself. We're being selfish. We're putting ourselves first. By having clearly defined boundaries, you are empowering yourself to embrace a healthier lifestyle. I put together a couple of tips and things that I think you should consider when identifying what boundaries you want to implement into your life. Your 20s, our 20s, they are a time for self-reflection. This is a time in our life when we're changing the most, we're learning the most, and we're identifying those things in life that we love and things that we don't. You have to know who you are in the current stage of your life. With self-reflection and self-awareness, we have the best tools capable to identify the best boundaries for ourselves. Does that make sense? I think the next thing, and probably the most common piece of advice, is learning to say no. This manifests itself in all of our lives in different ways. Learning to say no, especially for my people pleasers out there, is gonna be a really difficult conversation to have with yourself. When you're learning to say no, we are trying to build a life that represents us and is best suited for the person that we want to become. Not necessarily the person that we are currently. Learn to decline social invites that no longer serve you. I understood when I moved to the middle of Colorado that I was going to have to make sacrifices for the people in my life that mattered the most to me. But I've also realized I can't say yes to everything. I can't spend $500 every week to fly to Florida for different events. And I also can't make that commitment to people who wouldn't do the same for me. Learning to say no, it's not really just, no, I'm not doing that. It's more understanding what things you're willing to give into and what things you're really gonna set that boundary and be like, you know what? I'm not really comfortable with this, so it's a no. It's a no for me. Kind of building off of that, reevaluate every relationship that you have in your life. I think when it comes to family, when it comes to like old friends, people that know us the best, that is when it's the hardest for us to set boundaries. At the forefront of your decisions, it needs to be your emotional well-being. Think about it, because I am a giver. I am always gonna show up for people that I wanna show up for. Doesn't matter the cost, doesn't matter the distance, doesn't matter the frequency. I think there's a very big difference here between someone who can't and someone who won't show up for you. Who are the people in my life who always show up for me who are my ride or die people, and who are those people who kind of lurk in the background, want to know everything that I'm doing, but not provide anything for me along the way. I said what I said, take it or leave it. Now that we know what boundaries are, we really need to talk about who needs boundaries? Where do we implement boundaries? Like, how does this work? In my opinion, in my sole opinion, boundaries are essential for every single aspect and every single relationship that you have in your life. What I've noticed the most when talking to my girlfriends or even talking to kids that I coach, I swear like this next generation opens my eyes to so much stuff and they don't get credit for it. When it comes to identifying how to set boundaries and who to set boundaries with, I just want you to think of a couple things because this is what has helped me and this is what I tell all of my friends or anyone who I see struggling with different relationships in their life. Not everyone needs to know what you're doing. Not everyone gets a free access to your life and the intimate details that make you who you are. Especially family. Family is where it gets difficult because family always feels entitled to know everything about you. Nobody deserves to know anything about you that you don't want them to know. Period. End of sentence. You get to decide in your life, kind of like we do with Instagram, who is allowed to follow you, who is allowed to see where you are and what you're doing. To put it quite frank, you are allowed to stand on business. You are allowed to say, hey, I don't really want you knowing my business like that. I don't really want you knowing my moves. I don't really want you knowing my day-to-day -day lives. And that could be for any reason that you have. 
The best thing about it is you don't owe anybody an explanation about anything. When it comes to your relationships, intimate relationships are when people have the hardest time understanding boundaries. When you get engaged, your wedding planning, when you have a baby, that's when everybody wants to have an opinion and everyone wants to be engaged with what you have going on when it's none of their damn business. Because when you let too many people have an opinion about you and your life, you and your relationships, that's when you stop knowing who you are. That's when you become a shadow of everyone else in your life. It's probably my biggest ick in life when people overshare. You don't have to overshare. In fact, you don't have to say anything. You can keep everything to yourself. The second biggest thing I wanna talk about here is family. You are allowed to cut people off. You are allowed to limit how often you talk to people, how limited you see people. You're even allowed to decide who you allow into your house. You don't have to open the door to everybody. You can say, you know what? I'm not really comfortable with you coming over. And you gotta say it like that. You can, you can say however you wanna say it, but the message is still the same. So many of us, especially in our generation, are cutting off family and not letting them walk all over us. And I'm so fucking proud. As I get older, things start to shift, right? I'm the youngest, which means I'm gonna have the wedding next. I'm gonna be engaged. I'm gonna be, you know, getting pregnant, having baby showers, hosting Thanksgivings and Christmases. And I'm so excited for that. But in the back of my head, there's this little voice that makes me uncomfortable and it's like, well, who do I invite to my wedding? Do I have to invite all my siblings? Can I just invite the ones I'm close to? What happens to the relationship with the sibling I don't invite to my wedding? Or more than that, what happens if I just decide to elope and not invite any of my family? Is that gonna cut off relationships? Is that gonna, you know, create rifts in the dynamic? That's where we are. I'm all about stand on business. I'm all about villain era. I'm all about you are the main character, but that doesn't come without consequence. It is an uncomfortable feeling to decide to, you know, cut off siblings, cut off aunts and uncles, friends, parents even. The last thing I'm gonna leave you with today is gonna be how to implement boundaries. First thing I'm gonna encourage you to do is clarify your boundaries. I think it's fine to make boundaries about anything in your life that matters to you. The thing with boundaries though, if you're gonna go out of your way to create boundaries in your life, there has to be consequences for people who do not accept your boundaries, okay? I understand not wanting to hurt people's feelings, I understand wanting to be kind and all this, but if you're not gonna stand on your boundaries, why do you even have them? If you're gonna let people walk all over you, I also wanna prepare you that just because you wanna implement a boundary doesn't mean that someone is going to respect it. I know that's what we would like in a perfect world, but that's just not the case. So when you're setting boundaries with people, you need to be firm. You need to let them know, this is, this is it. My way or the highway. If you don't like it, you can leave. That's when we get to kind of the hardest part of this conversation is what happens when you implement a boundary with someone and they don't respect it. They don't respect you. They don't respect your choice. They don't accept the consequences that we've given them. That's when we have to take a step back. That's when relationships end. That's when we cut people out of our lives. Setting boundaries is a tool that is here to empower you to take control of your life. Be mindful with the people who are close to you. As I always say, there are some people in your life who are not there for the right reasons. Some people are preying on your downfall, whether you want to believe it or not. With that being said, if you need anything from me, if you need any help or support, I am here. Also, as always, please seek professional help. Seek support from your support system, from a therapist, from friends and family, because this is a hard time. Setting boundaries isn't easy. That's why a lot of us don't do it. That's why a lot of us run from confrontation. But I encourage you to really stick up for yourself this year, because if you don't, nobody else will. Thank you again for watching my video. I love you, and that's why I am telling you the cold hard truth in this life. As always, if you have the means, please donate to Make Wish Foundation in honor of my late friend Nyla, and I will see you guys again next week with another video. Bye. And set those boundaries, please. Please. <laughs>